There is no need to explain the importance of LinkedIn nowadays. That is why it is worth investing some time into improving it and of course into improving your LinkedIn summary. Writing a LinkedIn summary isn't exactly easy. It takes some thinking, especially if you don't have any formula to follow. Since for many of us, a LinkedIn summary isn't just a tool to impress hiring managers or recruiters. It is actually a business card for your possible clients or for collaborators interested in working with you. I'm Marat from Emotion, my Emotion.com career services agency and in this video I'll be giving you a formula to write a good LinkedIn summary and five steps to make it stand out. And if you stick with me till the end, I also share LinkedIn summary examples, which will serve you as an inspiration while implementing everything discussed in this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then definitely hit the subscribe and enable the notification bell so you won't miss out on my weekly content. Also, thumb up the video if you feel it's been useful. So, a LinkedIn summary should give your reader a clear idea of the following points. Who you are as a professional. What your background has been so far. Which value you bring to the table. And what your professional goals are. There you have your LinkedIn summary formula. Now, let me break this down further. If you already have a complete LinkedIn profile with a good profile photo and a headline, let's proceed to the step number one. Use first person while writing your LinkedIn summary. Some people still mistakenly treat LinkedIn as an online resume and write in third person. Just think about meeting a person for the first time. You wouldn't be introducing yourself in third person, right? So apply this same technique to your LinkedIn summary. Always write in first person. LinkedIn summary is where you quickly discuss your skills, your experience and your professional interests. You can even call it your professional story or your digital elevator pitch. It is much more real and more personal speaking in first person and it will definitely make a stronger impact on anyone who is checking your profile. Step number two, start with who you are and what your background has been. Now, this is a professional summary, so start with presenting yourself professionally. A brief description of what you do. Then include information on your past background, studies or education in case if you didn't have any professional experience yet. Think how your summary should speak to the industry you work at or to the industry you would like to work at. Which parts of what you do are the most relevant to businesses or to professionals that you would like to be viewed by? Focus on those specific areas and on keywords you would like to be searched for. Step 3. Mention what you bring to the table. Ask yourself, why would someone want to work with you? What do you bring to the table? Include these skills and capabilities that make you stand out. Provide data to back up your results. Maybe one or two impressive data points which you've achieved through your professional expertise and which are worth mentioning. For example, you can say, in my recent role, I increased unit sales goals by 90% and generated over $80,000 in revenue just in six months and without prior training. And if you haven't had experience yet, link your accomplishments to your studies. Step 4. Add some personality to your summary. A human connection point. Don't be afraid including a piece of information about yourself which might show your personality. Maybe something you have experienced in life. Something that would allow others to connect with you on more human level. Maybe a brief personal interest. This will help to break the ice and motivate others into starting a professional relationship with you. 
Step 5. End your summary by asking what you want. Think about what you want your audience to do after reading your summary. An invitation to connect, driving them to your online portfolio, your website or your product, or maybe contacting you through email. Adapt your LinkedIn summary ending to what your current LinkedIn goals are. And depending on that, ask your audience what you would like them to do and you will most likely get what you want. And just as I promised, here are LinkedIn summaries which you could use as an inspiration for yours. First example. I have over 10 years of experience in software development. To say that coding is a passion is an understatement, as it is the love that has continuously helped me overcome obstacles, embrace challenges, and keep my career moving forward. Recently, I have stepped into the role of project manager, including the work of other software developers and other technical experts to ensure the solution was developed correctly, on time and on budget. I have raised code efficiency 35%, cut lead times 20%, and raised client retention 40%. I am experienced in programming languages, including JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Python, and AngularJS and I'm always adding new skills to my professional range. I am eager to meet other software engineers in the area, so feel free to connect. Example 2. As a sales coach specializing in assisting small teams of up to 10 people, I optimize their time and workflows so businesses can grow without adding more headcount. I increased revenue in 30% and reduced the operating budget by 20% on average per client this year. My ability to identify and implement data-driven strategies and build genuine relationships lead to greater customer satisfaction, scoring 90% in yearly customer satisfaction service. When I'm not working, I really enjoy spending time swimming. I was once a competitive swimmer and it is still my passion. It keeps me healthy and it's a great distressor. It ensures that I'm always at my best while at work. My previous client portfolio includes and you can reach me at this email or book time on my calendar here. If you need further LinkedIn summary examples, you can always look me up and check out mine. Remember, you have 2,000 characters to make your LinkedIn summary stand out. Don't make it too extensive. Don't start a LinkedIn summary just for the sake of it. It's better not having a summary at all, rather than rambling it into something long and boring. If you found this video useful, please thumb it up and share it with whoever you think it might be beneficial to. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my further LinkedIn profile videos to make your LinkedIn profile stand out.